Hi, I'm Bob Repas from Machine Design Magazine, and we're here with Virginia Reed from Dymax Corporation. Uh, Virginia, I understand you have a new process for uh, curing adhesives that you can visually see the cure. Yes, we have a new technology. It's called, it's a patented technology, C-Cure technology. It allows us to help our customers validate their process. When the adhesive is applied, it goes on in a vibrant blue color. And as the adhesive is applied, you can have confirmation of the placement of the adhesive as well as the amount of adhesive that the customer is using on their application. After you've determined where the adhesive needs to be placed, you then will expose it to the proper intensity through the UV curing lamp or through LED curing. And then upon the proper exposure, the adhesive that was blue will now turn clear or it, we have other adhesive, another adhesive that will turn pink. So the validation of the cure without any specialized equipment, just the cost of the adhesive, will give you the validation that in fact the adhesive, the coating, or the masking resin, or the gasket is fully cured. What we're going to do here is we're going to dispense the material from a cartridge dispensing system. I'm going to fill the whole template. And as you can see when it's going down, it's a brilliant blue so that the customer in their application, they can see the placement of the adhesive and how much material is being placed down. Now I'm placing more adhesive than normally would be used in an application for this demo. Uh, okay, so let me fill this in. This particular material is a temporary masking resin that would be used for grit blasting, shot peening, chemical resistant applications, and to protect a substrate during a surface treatment application. So now I'm going to take it and I'm going to put it under the light and we're going to expose it to the UV light. Now as you can see it's starting to cure because of the transition from the blue to the pink. Now the front side of the D is still blue and as you can see here I'm going to pull it out. It, this did not get proper exposure. So this is a validation to the customer that their process is not having a complete cure. So what we're going to do is we're going to put it back under here and expose it until it goes pink. And now we have full cure. We're going to pop it out so I can show you that we have in fact full cure. It is pliable. This would be used to protect a surface during a grip blasting, chemical processing, the surface treatment application. Now the light is obviously an ultraviolet light. What's the source do you use for that? Well, we, we manufacture our own curing equipment. We have not only spot lamps, as you can see here, um, or we have flood lamps as well as conveyors. And we custom curing equipment. So depending on the customer's application, size of the component that needs to be cured, we would have the applicable curing equipment and the adhesive that will be optimized for their application. Uh, what's a typical curing time? Our curing um, times vary anywhere from a tenth of a second to our masking resins, which are, we consider a long cure time, which is about 30 seconds. In comparison to other um, competitive adhesives, where we're looking at days or hours, um, the UV light or cure on demand, and the parts are ready to be used in the customer's process immediately. Now, being a uh, UV cured process, obviously there's very little heat involved then. The there, is some, there is some heat, but one of the things that you do is you look at the heat sensitivity of the substrate. Should they have a heat sensitive material, we would look at LED curing, which is a cooler cure. So depending on what the substrate is, we take all of these factors into play with our consulting to the customer with the Dymax Edge, which is to listen to the customer, envision a solution, and deliver it. So we look at every aspect of the customer's application.